This morning I want to speak with you as the Lord has led me uh, about a passage in Zechariah uh, chapter 4 and verse 6. It states, not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. In verse uh, 7 it says, Who art thou, O great mountain, before Zerubbabel? Thou shalt become a plain, uh, and shalt bring forth the headstone thereof, with the shoutings crying, Grace, grace unto it. Now, in the 486th day of the lockdown uh, due to COVID-19, I am sure that we are going through some very challenging times. And this morning, uh, this is what God has placed upon my heart uh, to share with you. And this word, in particular, uh, Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6, uh, makes three very pertinent, very important and very elaborate uh, statements. It says, number one, it says, it is not by might. And it also says, nor is it by power. But thirdly, the Holy Spirit says, it is by my spirit. And this is the words that the Holy Spirit brought to Zerubbabel. Um, now we know that Zerubbabel was responsible to lead the children of Israel out of Babylon, where they were in captivity for quite a while. And they were all very concerned about um, the temple that was in Jerusalem, the place of worship or the place of intimacy with God. And God had shown him that he is going to be the one that's going to lead his people out. And this morning, this is what God has placed upon my heart. And I want to just um, break it down a little bit. Um, firstly, the first point that he makes is, he says, it is not by might. Now, the question then must be asked is, what does he mean? What does the Holy Spirit mean when he says to us, it is not by might? Now, I have obviously went to go and study that a little bit, and I went to see the context of that. Now, uh, the word might uh, is an auxiliary verb. It's a doing word. It's a word that uh, um, implodes us or has uh, reminds of, of what we've done. It is also, the word might is the simple past tense of the word may. Uh, you may have done certain things and you may not have done certain things. And here, <clears throat> this word may or might uh, has specific meanings. And this is what the Holy Spirit is dealing with us as a church. He says, what does it mean? It means that uh, uh, may means or might means what you were able to do. In other words, what you've done in the past, what you've accomplished in the past, where you have traveled, what you've achieved, your qualifications, your accolades or your certifications, your, your qualifications, <clears throat> your doings, your own doings. Number seven, it talks about your influences and your connections. It also, and number eight, it says it is what you could have, should have, and might have done in the past. The word might talks about what you have accomplished and what you've done in the past. And here the Holy Spirit clearly states in this verse to Zerubbabel, it says, it is not by might. And I want you as a church, we as a church, need to take stock and say, what is it that we've done? Do we stand on the accolades or the, or the fame or the, or the influence of what we've done in the past? But here the Holy Spirit says to Zerubbabel, it is not by might, nor is it by power. And again, yeah, I want to just look at what is the word power implies. What is the Holy Spirit implying to us in, in today's uh, um, context? Now, power, here uh, as a noun, it is the ability to do or to act. In other words, what you can do now. What is your skills? What is your knowledge base? What is it that you are capable of doing? 
What is your capacity? What is your, uh, the, the, the position that you're in to accomplish certain things? It could also be used as a, as a verb, this word power. In other words, uh, it, it, it can refer to you as a powerful person or you as a par powerful individual. You could be a powerful CEO of a company or, or, a, or a, a Fortune 500 company. And you can have influence and you can, you can do certain things that other people cannot do. And yet, yeah, um, also as a verb, it talks about uh, power is reflected that if you switch, if you switch, uh, flip a switch, then the light goes on in the room. It brings light. So in other words, it's a conduit of power. The, that uh, switch switches on the power that will light up the room. It's also with a, with a, with a torch. When you flick the switch on, on the torch, it produces light. It's not... Uh, the bulb that produces the light, but it is the batteries inside of the of the the flashlight that will produce the power. So, in other words, what what does it what does it imply? It implies that uh, it it refers to uh, uh, the kind of power, the kind of authority that you and I can possibly have, influence over other people, influence within our uh, work environment, in our society, and so forth. It talks about physical strength, power. And here, Zerubbabel, or the Holy Spirit says to Zerubbabel, it is not by might, neither is it by power. In other words, it is by my spirit. And here I want to speak to you very specifically, uh, uh, Zechariah 4 verse 7, uh, the Holy Spirit addresses uh, the situation that Zerubbabel finds himself in. It says, Thou, who art thou, O great mountains? Before Zerubbabel, thou shalt become a plain, and he shall bring forth uh, 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 the headstone thereof uh, with shouting and crying. And it talks about grace upon grace. That so encouraged me that even in the Old Testament, while the law was still in place, God speaks his grace over his people when they were in captivity. And we find that Zerubbabel came up against great mountains. He came, the people of Israel came up against mighty mountains. And one of those mountains were the mountain of oppression. And I can say to you today, in COVID-19, you may feel very specifically that you are facing a mountain. It could be a mountain of your health. It could be a mountain of provision for your family because you may have lost your job. You may have uh, the, so many things is happening in our country. Uh, the fear that has risen up in the last couple of week, weeks with so much violence and looting taking place in our country. And I'm going to say to you there, it is quite natural for you to feel that way. But I want to say to you, like the words to Zerubbabel, the Holy Spirit says, it is not by might, in other words, the things that you have done. It is not by power, in other words, the things that you can do, but it is by my spirit. So therefore, we need to become peaceful in our hearts. So allow the Holy Spirit to give us his peace so that we can know that he is with us because it is by his power it is not what i can do but what he has already done and can do in the church the question is like in the case of zerubbabel what is the state of the church what is the state of your relationships with other people uh, within the church within the community within your work environment and here we find uh, because of the pressure and the stresses that uh, our situations in our country has been gone, you may find it very difficult and you may find yourself in a very difficult position uh, with that. And here I want to encourage you with the verse out of 2 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 17. It says very clearly, now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, Oh, hallelujah. There is freedom or there is liberty. Verse 18 says, But we all with open faces beholding as in a glass 
the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory, even as the spirit of the Lord. In other words, it is not by might nor by power, but it is by the spirit of God. I want to appeal to you today. I want to say to you, if you uh, are standing at a crossroads this morning and you are burdened with all kinds of issues. I want to say to you, the Lord is saying to Christmas fellowship and to the believers in South Africa, it is not by might, neither it is, is it by power, but it is by my spirit, says the Lord. Like in the day of Zerubbabel, we face many mountains, the mountains of enslavement to the flesh. You may still be struggling with some sin that is, that is pestering you on all sides and concerns and worries and all kinds of the, the mountain of the rubble in the church, be it physical, political or relational. But God is calling his children to himself, not by might, neither by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Hallelujah. It's a few short words just to encourage you today. And I want to say to you, we are living in the age where the kingdom of God is coming. It is here. It is with us. And that kingdom is managed. It is driven. It's motivated by the Holy Spirit. So I want to say to you today, seek the Spirit of God. Be sensitive to what He is saying to you and me so that you and I can do exactly what the Spirit of God is saying. Come, let's pray together. Father, we lift up our hands and our hearts to you this morning. And we ask that you will come through your spirit to come and strengthen us. Come and revive us. Come and give us the motivation to do the things that you have called us to do. Lord, help us and teach us that it is not by might the things that we've done. Neither is it by power that which we can do, but it is by your spirit. I ask, Father, that you will strengthen your children, that you will build your kingdom and to the glory of your son. And all God's people said, Amen. We bless you. We encourage you. And we ask that you will contemplate that which God has in store for you. God bless you. Amen.